Good day, mates. You know, every now and then I'll be on a trip such as I am today. I'm headed from uh, Frio, which is Fremantle, south of Perth, and I'm on my way down to Bunbury. And I'm just cruising along, and I'd swear as I'm driving that I were in California. It feels that way. The heat, it's a dry heat, and uh, the, the scenery, the landscape, it's very similar as if I were driving down Highway 101 or Highway 5, say going from Sacramento down to Los Angeles or something like that. But anyway, as I'm driving along, I see a sign. And for whatever reason, it caught my attention. And it's called the Wicked Carrot Cafe. And I thought, that's a strange name for a cafe. And I'm literally, I'm like in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> I don't know I don't know where I'm at it's not like you know I haven't seen a lot of towns or anything for the better part of the last uh, oh, hour driving and uh, I thought you know what I'll stop I'll stop and check this out and as I parked my car it became quite obvious to me that this is a little bit different than just your normal cafe and uh, I'm sure they've got coffee and they probably even have carrot cake being called the uh, the Crooked Carrot Cafe. But they seem to have a lot more, which, which I'll share with you. And they also have no shortage of flies around here. So let's go check this place out. I, I don't really know what it is, but they've got all types of, they've got all types of stuff here. Look at this, the crooked carrot, you see? So some way we'll, somehow or another, we'll find our way, uh, somehow or another we'll find our way inside. I'm not quite sure where the entrance is, but we'll figure it out. Well, here it is. And uh, as you're gonna see, it's quite a, uh, it's quite a cafe. It's, it's more than a cafe. Look at these sculptures here. See these, these sculptures and, all the while that I'm walking, there are just, it seems like there's, uh, there's no shortage of, of flies, but that's okay. I'll, uh, I'll work with that. But look at the, look at the Crooked Carrot Cafe. I wonder how they, I wonder how they got their name, the Crooked, Crooked Carrot Cafe. Maybe somebody inside, uh, will be able to tell me, but quite interesting. Wow, look at this, just out in the middle of nowhere. Look at all these plants that they're selling. You wouldn't necessarily expect to walk into a place like this, out in the middle of nowhere, and see plants for sale. But that's what, uh, that's what they have here. Wow. And over here they've got a lot of other stuff. Look at this. Candy jars, old-fashioned. I don't know what. Look at that. That's the one they got candy in there. You can see that. Wonderful. Very very nice. Hello. All right. So maybe maybe somebody. Ooh, look at all these succulents. Every time I see a succulent, I I always think of a of a wonderful lady named Oksana who I think lives up in uh, Connecticut, if I'm not, not mistaken. But, uh, boy, what an interesting place. And here are the, uh, here are the carrots. Look at this. See? You can get yourself... Those are some bags, actually, you see? Get yourself a crooked, crooked carrot bag. So, I'm gonna walk my way, uh, walk my way outside. Look at all the stuff. What a nice place to stop and look, you can pick yourself up a pie. You wanna get yourself a pie? Get yourself a pie. And then look down here. They have all types of all types of sweets. Look at this. Get yourself a, a superhero cupcake. There's a Mr. Pooh. You can get a Mr. a Mr. Pooh. The Orioles. Oh, it all looks good. Look at this. 
Napoleon cheesecake. Oh boy, does that look good. Oh, and there's your double chocolate car. Apple berry. Wow. If you ever wondered, yeah, see they have the carrot cake, just like one would expect. And look at that, a slice of heaven. If you ever wanted to know what a slice of heaven looked like, it would be, uh, it would be that. So let's go outside and take a look, because this is, if I can find my way out there. Look at this. Very nice. You can come and have yourself a little little bite to eat here now I'm literally like in the middle of nowhere but then you walk outside and look at this little oasis here they got boy they got everything here holy cow look at this they have a garden just a beautiful Oh, they got a beautiful garden. I see some tomatoes growing. Oh, I think that this is going to be a nice week. I'm just <laughs> headed down south of, of Perth for the week towards the Margaret River area. Look at that. Well, here you got some, some pears. Looks like a pear growing. Looks like some birds are enjoying it as well. This is very nice. What a nice decision to stop and, and take a look. There, here, here you have a... Look at that truck right there. Isn't that something? It's seen its better years, I'm sure. Wow. Look at that truck. Looks like it's all, almost as old as Skip Smith and the Villages. No. But uh, it's old. Oh, and look down here. You would just, you wouldn't notice it unless you just look. Look at. I think that's a, I think that's an emu down there. Very nice. And here is a chess board. You want to play a little, little chess. And this is the, uh, you know, Rob. Good old Rob, bless his heart, love him to death out in uh, Melbourne. Look at this, Rob. A Melbourne tram car, W2, number 556. Isn't that something? For 50 years, the W2 class tram car was the most popular type used in the Melbourne system. They were first used in the mid to late 1920s and totaled 406 cars on their peak. The WT, W2 and later models were built at MM TB's Preston workshop in Melbourne. They were gradually phased out of service by the mid 1980s. Isn't that something? I know Rob just loves trams. Look at that, Rob. Wow, the 556. Maybe, maybe Rob wrote on this, you know, back in the back in the day. Who knows? Isn't that nice? Oh, here's another this is the 942 back here here's the 9 here's the 942 you know this is a uh, just a short stop it was just right off the right off the interstate, right off the highway. And to come in, it was uh, not quite convenient. Just a nice little surprise. This is the 
Well, it'll be the, the playground, if you will. Look at this old tractor here. He got quite a collection. Here's another one. Isn't this beautiful? There's a, a little rope, rope bridge. Very nice. There's a little tunnel you can go through. And look what you see when you come out. An airplane. You have an airplane over here. Oh, what a surprise. What a what a treat. Here's an old car. It'd be really interesting to know the the story behind some of this. I don't know what is this a uh, a Simca. Wow. All types of sculptures around here. Look at this. Right here. There's a there's a postcard for you. Look at that shot. It just makes you wonder what other surprises I'm going to come across down here. Here's, a, here's an interesting shot. Wow. No shortage of tractors. Just a beautiful lawn. What a nice way to stop and get a little bit of refreshment, stretch your legs as you're driving along. And there's your, there's your plane right there. Fantastic, really nice. At first I was thinking that this was some type of a miniature golf course when I first was looking at it from the other side of the other side of the fence but it's not a golf course it's just a nice place to mosey about or saunter as my wonderful wonderful father used to say here's here's an interesting shot Look at that. Isn't that? Wow. Beautiful plants. There really has to be a story behind this place. I can't imagine. I can't imagine that there's not a story behind this. Really. It's gotta be, it's gotta be somebody's dream, I would imagine. Look at that. All right, I need to get on. I need to get on with my trip, I've gotta, destination to reach which would be none other than Bunbury actually south south Bunbury to be be specific and I'll see if there's anything else up just this way it seems every every corner you turn there's something something different to look at Here, look at this 
speaking of Skip Smith, he'd probably be probably be here all day long playing on this stuff. Look at that. Very nice. Very, very nice. And here you can sit out and enjoy a nice, uh, nice refreshment. All right, folks. Time to, uh, time to get on with the, get on with the trip. Hope you enjoyed this quick visit to the Crooked Carrot Cafe in, uh, oh, I don't know where I'm at, but uh, somewhere in the middle of nowhere. Have a great day.